Hello again, folks. So I just got back from family time and coffee, as you guys can tell. And Timmy's, give me a sponsorship. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Fuck off. Um, so we just did some coffee and some run, roaming around and wife picked up a new purse and I got a record. I got a record. But it's not, it's, it's, it's a record we all know of and it's this record, but you've already seen me show this. This one's a little bit more special. So I was, I stopped up at, into Backstreet Records and there was a bunch of stuff I could easily come home with. Uh, some bunch of Pantera, there was some Hard Charger, there was some new, some older, uh, some Metallica. They had Master Puppets on vinyl. I was like, mm, I don't know. And so I, I left the store and I was like, you know, I was talking to the wife a little bit because she wanted to get this purse. And I was like, well, I'll get it and, you know, whatever. And, and, I, and I said, I've, I kind of, you know, because of the cost of this, I was like, yeah. I was like, well, I kind of resisted mine, so why don't you grab it? So she's like, well, if you really want to go get it. And what I have for you today, I don't know how rare this is, but judge, but based off of the color, it must be. I have a very good condition. Actually, I think it's almost, I think it's better than very good. I think it's an excellent condition. I mean, there's a little bit of scuffs around the sleeve, but the, the vinyl itself is actually quite good. This is Ride the Lightning from this is a French release, or sorry, French label, Bernay Records, 1984 pressing yellow wax. On the back, of course, you got the boys. Um, this is licensed, yeah, licensed or issued under license from Megaforce Records. So it's not a Megaforce Records, it's a Music for Nations uh, distribution. Of course, as you can tell up here. Now, this is a question. This is what I've been looking for. You see the cassette here, and then it has SB 18, 18526. I'm sure you guys can probably see it, but now SB 18026, I think is for the vinyl. So the cassette, I think was the 18526. This MU code, I'm not 100% sure. Some of you guys out there in the comments, if you're watching, please help me out. This was a copy of the Rise of Lightning, obviously, that was done by Bernay, and somebody fucked up the color. So when they fucked up the color of it, it came out green. This is this was done, and this is only 400 copies. So the fact that I found this thing and I actually resisted it was pretty strong. Um, this record, as a lot of you guys know, if you've watched my channel for long enough, you know this is a very important Metallica record to me. It is my number one record that they've ever put out, single-handedly their best they've ever put out. I don't give a shit. I understand ooh, fucking Master Puppets. I get it. Don't get me wrong. I like Master Puppets. That's number two. This is number one. Mostly because of the blue. Funny, funny enough. So I'm going to take this out real quick. Um, this is no real X, you know, This it, it's not really any sort of big gatefold or anything. Um, of course, you see the Burnett right here next to, next to Lars. He's looking very handsome there. And the wax itself, um, and I picked this up for 50 bucks Canadian, if you can imagine. Also, I want to point out here too, the SB18026. Again, my concern about these numbers, if you guys can, obviously you guys can probably see this because there's no real glare. I can't really tell, like, if that, if that MU219 is the actual, like, number, of the, like, the, the numbered copy, like, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know, like I said, I don't know how rare this is. I mean, I presume because of the fact that it's green and not blue, it's probably rare, but not uber rare. I don't really know how valuable it is. I presume it's probably pretty i mean i've seen it on discogs like some of the ones in mint condition for like two three hundred dollars but i'm not 100 percent sure so we're going to take out the wax and it's a nice yellow very odd but i'm okay with that i don't have any yellow albums 
it's probably hard to see, but I mean, it's in relatively good condition. I mean, I'm just looking at it here, and I don't, I like there's some little, little bit of scratches in it, but nothing too severe. Um, regardless, like, I haven't played it yet. I literally just got home and started taking some pictures of it and so on. Obviously, you know, all, 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 all the digits and numbers are there. Um, you know, 33. You know, so this is all super, super cool. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking to sell this. I don't think ever. I think, I think this may actually, yeah, this is going to be, this will be played a couple times. Um, I don't know how extensive, I mean, obviously I want to make sure it plays good. You know, there's no real sort of screw ups, that kind of thing. That's my main goal. Um, yeah, no, I just, I just think this is awesome. Uh, I just was just flipping through and I was in the store for a little bit. I'm like, yeah, I think I'll just keep looking or throwing around. And I was, I was actually looking for some, uh, ACDC stuff. And there was some sort of rarish stuff there, but I'm like, you know what? Like I can always go back for that later. I can always find it somewhere else. When I stumbled across this, I kept my eye on it pretty close. And yes, I mean, again, I did pass it up at first because of the, you know, 50 bucks is just, you know, I don't just pull, I don't, I don't just grab a record for 50 bucks and go, boom, like that, that's, that's, no, that's not how it works. You know, I usually have to make a solid decision of whether I'm actually going to buy it or not, but because of how I, you know, because of the fact that it's the green copy. And I actually saw this a, lo a long, a lo like a long time ago. I was like, I would love to have a copy of that. That'd be amazing. You know? So if anybody can help me out with some of these numbers here, um, I presume that the whole cassette thing, let me take this out. I presume with that whole cassette, that must be the, the, the code for that. The MU, I would, pre I presume it would be the, the 219 is the actual copy, the actual 219th copy. Um, anybody out there in any way, shape or form could maybe help me out. Just kind of tell me, you know, you know, where to go, where would be the, where would be the absolute best place to find that sort of information. Uh, that would be, just let me know. That'd be cool guys. Really appreciate that. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I super appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like. If you, if you, if you want to check out more, please subscribe. I would like to get more subscribers. I'm still up over the 300 mark, which, uh, still find that weird, but hey, it's all good guys. Cheers. I'll see you later.